Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through PHP sessions, guys. Okay, so basically, I hope everyone watched the PHP cookies lecture, right? So for that, it could be a continuation because the basically the sessions will also work same as cookies, guys. Okay, so sessions. So previously in cookies, the data is stored in the client side, right? On the side of client, there are some cookies stored, right? So on server side, what will be stored? So in this situation on server side, the session files will be stored guys. Basically these session files will consist the characteristics of the cookies. So whatever the cookies are passing, the sessions will be storing it. And the sessions are used mainly to showcase or to be used in multiple pages, some kind of variable, some kind of data is used, right? Like background color. In most of the pages, the background color will be same. So I'm just giving you an example for that. Like that, there will be some parameters which are same in multiple pages. So those multiple pages data will be stored in this sessions, guys. Okay. So an alternate, sorry, an alternate way to make data accessible across the various pages of a entire website is using the sessions. Okay. So basically these sessions will be having a unique ID of length 32 bits, guys. Okay. So it will be in this way. Okay. It's a hexadecimal number with a 32 digits. You can say, you cannot say it as bits guys, because bits will be giving you some other meaning. Okay. Okay. A session creates a file in the temporary directory on the server where registered session variable and their values are stored. This data will be available to all the pages on the site during the visit. Okay. So basically whoever visits the page, so for that particular guy, a particular cookie is assigned, right? Similarly, that cookie sent data will be stored in the session as well as the particular page details will also be stored in the session. Like what are what his is details to showcase on the page. So basically, if you log in to a website, log in, if you log into a website, in most other websites, you will be having a logout option and in bracket or somewhere, they will be showing your username. So this username should be shown on all the web pages, right? So these kind of things are stored in the session on the server side. Got it? Yes, guys, I'm giving you some small, small examples, guys, because I also don't know that much in depth, like in real time, how they are used. Okay. Okay. So the location of the temp file. So basically, if you are using local host, I hope everyone knows about exam server, XMAP exam server or WAMP, WAMP, like Windows server or any kind of servers which you are using so in that server where it is located guys it is nothing but a local host right so once you visit a local host and there is a small function you can say that is nothing but a start session guys start underscore session so this is reasonable for creating a session okay so i told you it will be stored on the server side right so on the server so we are using example server that is nothing but a local server so in example c colon slash slash example slash temp so inside temp a file will be generated so that file name will be having this in the name that is nothing but the unique key or unique identifier you can call okay so that will be the name of the file with some initial thing like uh, session logs for session there is a shortcut so that shortcut will be there guys okay okay so this is the shortcut okay. here it is guys so it will be creating in this way so this is the same code but this will be the file name and this is the session id okay Okay, so in, the, in this way it will be showing us. So inside that you can find if you are using a local host, you can, sorry, local server or local host, you can test this also once. Okay, so this is just a small introduction, guys. Okay, so basically even these sessions will be expiring after some particular period of time. Like here it is given around 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm not 100% clear with the programs, guys. So I'm just skipping the programs part. So if possible, if I find any kind of easy programs or understandable programs, I'll be posting in our groups. Don't worry about that or else you should prepare for now. You can just prepare for this programs because I didn't understand. I'm not explaining these programs because I don't want to confuse you also. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about this. So in the next lecture, we'll be starting with the JDBC guys. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.